So it's 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm doing the Tongariro Alpine Crossing this morning and it is chilly. So the Tongariro Crossing is about 19 kilometers. Most people do it around seven and a half hours. We'll see how quickly I can do it so I can get home to Cammy and the kids. We're just getting picked up here at the Katahi car park. So here we are at the beginning of the Tongariro Alpine Crossing. It is 8.05 and it's a beautiful, clear morning. Just past four kilometers on the lava field. Coming up on a pretty steep section. Five minutes. Let's check out Soda Springs. The elevation steep not too too steep but that's steep the sign just says that was the easy part it's much harder ahead. just hit the sign Let's see Mount Taranaki in the background and we're doing the stairs so it's 9.16, that was 6.4 kilometers, I think it was more than 6 because we did the little jog out to Soda Springs. I don't know if you can tell, but the ground is covered in hoarfrost. It's decision time. Definitely not running this. <laughs> yeah. I have this whole area too, but there's like not a single person up here. This last bit looks like the last little slog be able to start seeing some lakes. The fact that I have this all to myself is incredible because if you watch the videos, this hike on a normal day, there are like literally people just lined up all the way up this crest. Had to shed all the layers. Probably started in minus eight and now it's probably five, something like that. So, nice and toasty. You can. Here's my contribution to the cairn. Woo! No one around. Absolutely no one. So that's nine kilometers. Another 10 kilometers to go. Blue leg. Running through the stitch backs.
So it's 14 kilometers, five kilometers to go. Eleven oh nine. Alrighty, that's where I am. Forty-five minutes to go. Don't think so. Kilometer seventeen. Back at the car park, 19.4 kilometers. May or may not be including a little diversion to Soda Springs. It was great. 11.47. I'm gonna pull up my Strava and see what it looks like.